Here, I would like to talk about the uh, the few keys I put on on this my Yosef Robo. Uh, this is BS1, silver plated, and about 10 years old. Um, my attempt was uh, be, um, trying to use a few fingerings of Baruch Robo and the old German style Robo. And I'll, I'll show you. Um, <clears throat> so the key I'm talking about is right here. And if you see old ring keyed oboes, oftentimes there is a spatula right there. And if you find some uh, uh, full conservatory, I mean full automatic octave key oboes like Yamaha makes them, um, and a lot of the makers from Europe make those uh, full, uh, full automatic octave key oboes. And those oboes oftentimes have that key. Um, and, but the semi-conservatory system oboes don't have this. And then what it does is basically letting us use old fingerings of Baroque oboe. So here's a Baroque oboe. And so A, you can play like that too. But also, this is another fingering. So one, two on the left hand, one, two, three on the right hand, and the low C key right here. And if I let go this uh, C key, that's B flat. And B natural and C. So, old German style oboe has uh, you can you can use the same fingering. Uh, so this is my old heckle. Um, so still, it's got the full automatic octave key system, so you can still play with the octave key. You could play those notes. But the, uh, also with the slower passages, I heard that actually they favor uh, this kind of a fingering. So this one, two, and one, two, three. So exactly the same as a verbal and a low C. And this kind of oboe, uh, I assume that it was used in Germany in, up until about 1940s. And even in Russia, I heard that this kind of oboe were used uh, up until like mid to late uh, 50s, 1950s. And then, uh, so going back to my Yosef here. So how to use it is this. You extend your middle finger like that. And then the rest of that is the same. And on this oboe at least, I never tried with other oboes, so I don't know. But the, uh, with this oboe, instead of a C key, C sharp key works better. So. So this is A natural. Right now I'm playing with a C sharp key. And B flat. That's a little bit flat side, so maybe you flat keys better. And so this is a kind of alternative to the uh, uh, using harmonics. And you can go use uh, all those verbal things. Oh, and also the beauty of this thing I made is it's completely detachable. So it doesn't, it doesn't the, uh, it, it's not fixed there permanently. And I put the cork bumper in there too, so it shouldn't scratch the key either. I think it's a pretty good idea. And I've been using this for quite a while, and for some passages, it works great.